we have, uh, you know, just kind of floating around uh, Hitler's head. Oh. Today we are on the campus of University of Utah and we are talking about Fort Douglas, specifically the Fort Douglas Military Museum. Fort Douglas was an active duty military post until 1991 when it was shut down after the Soviets bowed out of the Cold War. Ha. Losers! Ha! So you'll see behind me here, this is called the Gathering of Soldiers. This is what greets you as you walk in the museum. We've got displays of authentic uniforms of soldiers that would have been posted here while it was an active duty post. Uh, up until 1991 when the base was closed and handed over to the university. I love, not just not just museums, but I love the parts of museums that nobody ever gets to see. So uh, they're kind of to kind of let us go through and look at uh, some of the stuff that's not yet on display that they're currently working on getting cataloged. This is uh, what was called the poker room, dating all the way back to the days of the Civil War. It's also haunted. Allegedly. Everything in here is original dating back to the construction of the fort in the 1800s, 1860s. So like you talk about the floorboards, you look at the walls, you look at the, the, the truss work. I mean this, this is living, breathing history right here in front of us. Walking through the doorway here, you can see that the, 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 the floor is just worn down because literally every single person that has ever been in this room has had to walk on these boards. So when you think attack helicopters in the United States, you usually think the Apache, which is just a death machine. But this one, this actually predates the Apache by a few years. This is the Cobra, which is 1970s, 1980 style. In fact, the Marine Corps still uses these to this day. The Jeep, man, the, the quintessential army transport vehicle up until the late 1980s when it was replaced by the Humvee. I never thought that I'd see a, a military Jeep in a museum. You know, growing up in an army family, this was just, these were everywhere. So this Huey that's on display at Fort Douglas was actually in the Vietnam War, 1967 through 1970, and was actually shot down and is now on display for everybody to come and take a look at. That is amazing. In an off-limits area of the museum, and Bo here has been kind enough to let me handle some of the relics that are in here. For example, we have, uh, you know, just kind of floating around uh, H Hitler's head. <laughs> so somebody brought this back from, from World War II. Give me an abbreviated version of that story. What I read in the article and in the file and everything else that we had, this came from some military personnel from the United States Army, and it was gifted to them by a woman in Germany. Her landlord had some Nazi party ties, and so she came to the U.S. Army officers and said, hey, can you help us out here? This is what's going on. They called the guy in, interrogated him, found out he was you know, a paying, supporting, contributing member of the Nazi party, and then he buried this in the backyard. She saw him do that one night, dug it up, and brought it back and gave it to these guys as a Kind of an award, thank you. Wow. I love museums, but I love the archive rooms even more because you'll you'll have like Hitler's head next to a baseball, next to, you know, a hat from Vietnam, down with some trench art and some old license plates. I just, I love the idea that all this stuff just kind of gets put away and is carefully inventoried and is just maintained for future generations. When you, when you hold an item with that level of history to it. There's there's almost a reverence that goes to it. So this would obviously be from Vietnam and was was likely taken from somebody uh, that probably didn't want to give it up. That is absolutely amazing. So as we're filming this, the Fort Douglas Military Museum is closed to the public because of some virus that I haven't heard anything about. But when it is open, you'll want to check out their Facebook page. Just look for Fort Douglas Military Museum or Google Fort Douglas, Utah on Google, and you'll find everything you need to know about when you can come and uh, what you can do while you're here. It is free to the public, but they encourage donations, so make sure you, you dig deep and help out because it is a really, really cool way to preserve our history, both as a state and as a country. So, if you liked the video today, make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe to it, and comment below about what you wanna see next time on Cool Stuff in Utah.
Bye. Luckily he's tall. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I feel like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs>